very heated debate in Washington, which affects the finances of millions of American families. It was there on Capitol Hill last night that Republicans unveiled plans for a new stimulus package to tackle the economic fallout of this pandemic. Their plan calls for a $1 trillion stimulus with a T, with the extra unemployment benefits cut from $600 to $200 a week. Anthony? The Democrats passed their $3 trillion plan in the House in May. It would keep the $600 federal unemployment bonus. Paula Reed is at the White House. Paula, that's a big gap between plans. What's the latest on negotiations? It's an enormous gap, Anthony. A good morning. Well, the showdown began last night. Both sides agree on sending another round of stimulus checks, approximately $1,200. And they also agree on allocating about $100 or $100 billion for schools. But other than that, they're about $2 trillion apart, and a deal remains far from certain. The pandemic is not finished. The economic pain. It's not finished. Senate Republicans made an opening offer to Democrats last night. The HEALS Act, that's health, economic assistance, liability protection, and schools. The plan protects employers from being sued over COVID transmission and extends some jobless benefits, like the $600 weekly benefit that is set to expire. But Republicans want to reduce the benefit to 70 to 75 percent of the wages a person made before COVID. So we want to continue to help the unemployed, but we want to encourage work. The Senate Minority Leader Chuck Schumer blasted the plan. The administration has bungled this crisis. And now they want to take $1,600 out of your pocket every single month. As coronavirus cases continue to rise across the country, National Security Advisor Robert O'Brien became the highest ranking U.S. official to test positive. O'Brien works in the West Wing and closely with the president. But as he left the White House Monday to head to North Carolina, the president said he had not recently seen his top advisor. No, I haven't seen him lately. I heard he, uh, he tested. Yeah, uh, I have not seen him. Just as the virus reaches his inner circle, the president, while touring a biotech company in the battleground state of North Carolina, offered a vague directive to some governors to reopen their economies. A lot of the governors should be opening up states that uh, they're not opening. The Trump administration insisted that the coronavirus bill include nearly $2 billion for a new FBI headquarters building in downtown Washington. Now, that's unusual because it doesn't appear to have anything to do with COVID and because the Justice Department's inspector general is investigating whether the president tried to influence that project to favor his hotel, which is about a block away. Anthony. All right, Paula Reed. Thanks, Paula.